Oh, we're still coming. Way in the back. All right. Hey. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. What's he like trying to tell me? Paper? Do paper? Show it to me in a few minutes, okay? I want you to tell you it's okay. Eli is so much fun. Hey, how are we? So good to see all of you. Hey, got a question. Did anybody ever say anything to hurt your feelings? How about you out there? Anybody ever say anything to hurt your feelings? A lot of people? It's a tough life, isn't it? Well, let me take what happened to me. Um, do, do you notice anything different about me? Just like Different shirt? Nope. Look, look at this area. Part of the beat, right? The goatee part's gone. Right. At least you know. Right. So I shaved it off. My wife didn't notice. Right? So I had to kind of point it out. So it's at the end of the day, I finally said I didn't even notice, you know. Guys, we have had that happen to us, right? With the hair dudes, we don't pick up on it right away, and then we get a two-year prison sentence, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, that's what happened reverse, because this, this is what happened. So I'm looking at her, and she's standing there, and I said, you know, something different. She says, um, I, I said, and she says, oh, she says, I was wondering. She says, I, I thought you lost weight. You were sick. I didn't know what was wrong. <laughs> I just knew you were sick or something. I was like, thanks. You know, and I was like, would that work the other way? You come in the door? <laughs> oh, you look terrible. You look sick. Yeah. <laughs> Being divorced for it, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, you know, sometimes we say things, right? You know, during this time of year, we're in Lent, and we're supposed to be a little bit of uh, you know, praying more, fasting more with things, being uh, helping others more, that's alms giving, doing things like that, being really aware of things, being intentional not to say certain things, right? So if, you, if, it, if you're about to say something, then just stop, because that was not please God during this time, right? So in Psalm 64, 3, it tells us that our words cut like a sword sometimes, and, and they're sting like sharp arrows. That sounds painful, doesn't it? Right? If, what if I said, hey, I'm going to cut you with a sword, what would you say? No, thank you. Right? Because that would be painful. Or here, just let me give you a steroid. That would hurt. It would kill you, more than likely. At least it does in all the Western movies. Um, but today, our words do the same thing. Just, just saying something. If mom says something, you say something back that you shouldn't be saying anything back that you just do because sometimes we just make a dumb I'm going to show you. Your brother or sister, they say something, you say something back. Maybe it's a friend at school. They're on a merry go around. They say something, you say something back. And sometimes it just hurts. Sometimes there are people who struggle with things in life. And you notice that. And you should be praying for them, not making fun of them. Do we make fun of people sometimes? Maybe people make fun of you sometimes? We've got to be very careful of that. This is how we, we guard our hearts from that. We always think, is this something we can say to God? If he was standing there, would we say this? And the answer would most of the time be no. We would not do that. So during this time, it's almost Easter. I want you guys to work really hard this next couple of weeks to stretch your faith a little bit. Make sure you guard your tongue and forget it. Guard your heart with right, saying the right things in the children, okay? Let's go to the church. We'll talk a little more about that. Father, I thank you for these students. I thank you for their their hearts towards the things of God. We are, are blessed to be a church that has children. I pray our parents guard their hearts and minds and their tongues to be the example, grandparents as well, and us as staff and, and teachers and workers throughout the church, just to lift these students up, guide them, direct them, so that as they go through their week, go through their day, that they be the children you call them to be, God, that they follow your instructions, your word, to speak the right things to people to give them courage, to give them strength, and to pray for them through their day. God, we just give you the praise and glory for all things in your name. Amen. Okay, guys. Yeah? I have two pieces.